Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a section with dynamically changing background images. This question was recently brought into the My Listing Club Facebook group, and I thought I would try to help try to help out with answering the question on how to do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna move the guide over to my screen. You can get your hands on the guide from the club if you're if you're a member. So definitely check that out. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I've got a I've got a test test site here, and I'm gonna recreate this section that I've already done here live, okay? So when I click refresh here, you'll see that the background image changes. So that's the, that's what we're going for, okay? So I'm gonna jump into the back end here and I'm gonna edit the home page, which is what this is, and I've, I've already got that page pulled up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna insert a section, okay? I wanna set that section to be full width, and we're gonna give this a minimum height. Let's give it, we'll give it like 800, not 8,000, we'll give it 800. And what else did I do there? Set the desired height. Next up is the column. So you'll see this, this column with icon there within the, within the section. We wanna click on that. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this here for you. See that right there? So that's what we wanna to get to. Okay, now that we're in there, we want to set we want to set the padding to zero. And then we also want to put a CSS ID in here. We're going to just put DBS to stand for dynamic background section. This can be what whatever you want it to be. So just a, a little tip there for CSS IDs or classes. It can be whatever you want. Try to keep them short if you can. It's just it means less CSS for you to put in, but it's mainly just an identifier. It's cosmetic. It's a way for you to, to identify it later, which you can add comments to your code you know, at, at a later time to identify what it is that you're actually putting in there. But you can put something longer in there. It's, it doesn't matter, but I just like to keep it short. Okay, so we put that in there and then you're just gonna grab some code. Uh, next, in, this is the next step. You're gonna grab some code from the, from the guide and you're gonna drop it in wherever it is that you manage your code snippets, okay? So I like to use WP Code Box and this is the first snippet right here. I've already, I've already added it in. So that's ready to go. And then we're gonna move on now to the image carousel. So I forgot to mention at the top that we're only we're only needing to use Elementor Pro, or sorry, Elementor, the free version of Elementor for this. Okay, so we're gonna do a search now for image carousel. We're gonna drag that into our section column. And then the next step, we're gonna add our images. So just click on this over here on the left to add our images. I've got those three images in, some three images already. So I'm gonna in, insert those in. Next up, slice to show. We're not doing a slideshow here. We're just doing one background image, right? So we wanna set this to be one, okay? And then for the image size, we want this to be full, okay? Uh, you can do navigation if you want. Because this is just a background image, we're gonna put no navigation on this. And then under additional options, we, we're not, we don't want this to autoplay. We want, we want just one image to come up. So there we go with that. And last up here is to grab this, the JavaScript code snippet from the club's guide and drop that in, which I've already done here. So WP Code Box makes, makes this super simple. You, you can easily identify the type of snippet you wanna create. So click new snippet and then choose the type right here on the left, see that? Really easy stuff. It gives you guidance on how to create the snippet and all that good stuff. So highly recommend it. I'm gonna go ahead and save this page. And let's refresh our home page. There we go. So just that simple. Let's go ahead and refresh to show you the different image. Pretty cool, huh? So let's refresh again. And you, you might see the same image back to back if you yourself, you're sitting here and you're just constantly refreshing. That's not normal behavior you know, in, on a website that a user would do. They wouldn't just sit here and refresh your homepage over and over and over again. So you don't have to worry about seeing the same images over and over again, okay? Your users are not gonna see that, okay? There we go. All right, so now we've seen all three images. And then after that, if you wanna put a heading on, on here like I did, I'll show you how to do that. So drop down here, grab the heading widget. I'm just gonna drop it at the bottom. You can drop it above too, but you just can't drop it right on it as you can see here, okay? So I'm gonna drop that down. 
I'm gonna go ahead and center that, give it an H1 to pretend like this, we're creating a hero section. Okay, and then I'm gonna make the heading pretty big size just for, for this video. All right, and let's set the color to white. All right, now we can't see it because one, the text is white, and also it's not a, a, above our image. It's not sitting on top of our image. So if we then go to the advanced tab of the heading widget, un, un, click this link to unlink the margin so they're not all you know tied together, and then do a negative, a negative margin to the top. So because we know the height of our background section is 800 pixels, let's just go halfway. So let's do a negative 400, okay? We still can't see it because now it's it's behind our image. So we need to put a Z index value in there to get it above the image, okay? So just jump right here into the Z index, drop a one in there, okay? You can put other things in there if you wanna guarantee it, but 999 or whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put a one in there. And you can do other things too. If you, whatever elements you wanna put in there, you can put in there. So you wanna drop in, you know, the basic search form, just it's the same concept, paste it in, uncheck that length to do the negative margins. Let's do, we'll start with a negative 220. I need a, I need a uh, Z index on here again. So I'll put that same Z index. Okay, I would, I'd like this to be higher, so I'm just gonna keep working that up till it, till it looks good. All right, that's good enough for now. And then let's put a left and right margin on here just to make that form a little, not a little less wide. Okay, something like that. You can tinker with it. This isn't a, a design video per se, so you can just have to, have to tinker and then obviously make it look good on mobile, that sort of thing. Okay, there you go. So this is all this is going to function just as it normally would. Just, just you've got now this dynamic background in here. Let's refresh one more time. There we go. Pretty cool stuff, right? Okay, guys, hope you found this video useful and uh, I will catch you on the next one. See you later.